Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some Ollie Bridge 2. Uh, just like normal. <laughs> and <clears throat> start of a new week and we've got a new weekly challenge and I figure I'm going to show that off first. Okay. So earlier in the week I was in I was in like the top 50 something. Uh, since then some new designs have come out. That, I mean I have no idea what they are because I hadn't been looking at the gallery but wow. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and hop right into it. This is week nine's challenge. It's got four boats. Uh, they're sailboats that are coming through very, very tall. Uh, we've got two hydraulic phases and a semi truck to get across this uh, very wide chasm. Um, so this is the design that I tweaked and, tweaked and tweaked and tweaked and tweaked and tweaked until I got it as cheap as I possibly could. The only way to fix it is with a complete redo, which I'm... I'm working on it in my spare time. If I ever get a better solution, I'll share it over in the Discord. Uh, just remind me and I'll, I'll send it over there to you. So anyway, uh, the way this design came about was you've got to support this uh, center area by hanging it with ropes, usually. And um, so I've built a little bit of an arch-like system to hold up the left-hand side. Uh, and instead of using hydraulics over here, I figured I'd save some cash and just drop the bridge because, you I mean, it's not coming back. It's just going straight across. Uh, anyways, so it pulls across to the middle, sits in the middle for a second, lets the boats go by, and then continues on. So, yeah, let's, uh, we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit more as it goes through, but I'm going to go ahead and get us started. So it comes across, and you notice there's some conspicuously missing uh, supports here. Well... I, I sent it across and they had literally zero stress and they weren't providing stability, so I, I just chucked them. Uh, but yeah, it is very critical, the uh, the angles, and it is pixel perfect right here where the boat goes through. You can't lean either way, which is why we've got the two different supports. We've got the uh, rope made out of wood and the regular rope, uh, keeping everything nice and in line. And this shape has just worked at what worked out best for me. Uh, redesign of this shape is what's, what it's going to take to make a cheaper bridge. But yeah, it just barely scraped by and it works. Like, whoa, <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, but anyway, um, let's go ahead and work our way over, not, not to the workshop, to the worlds and see if we can pick up right where we left off over on Spring and a Miss. And like always, or nowadays, what we're going to do is we're going to take a first crack at this. And then I'm going to spend a good bit of time, you know, nailing everything down. And uh, we'll, we'll come back with whatever works the best. So starting out, uh, A and B go up top. D goes down below. Uh, I, I completely missed what order they go in. That's okay. Uh, but like always, we're going to start out with, uh, let's see, one of these. And we're going to fill that with regular road. And once again, like always, we're going to truss this up. Make sure it's got a good amount of strength. Let's see, there and there. Okay, so we're not going to support from the right hand side, I, I think. Uh, I think that's probably the best way to go about that. Uh, and I think, how long can we make a spring? Can't quite make a spring long enough. So what we're going to do is we are going to provide some support part way out. Not too, too far. And then we're going to spring this guy up. Let's see, does that hold? That does not hold. That's okay. Um, let's see, what else do we need to help this stay sprung? Um, you know, I literally just said we're not going to support from the right-hand side, but I think we're going to support from the right-hand side. Uh, we're going to plop that down, grid it up so it, it matches up just nice and proper. And how far can the spring go? Spring cannot go quite far enough, which means we are going to build an additional support system right there. Let's see. I kind of want an arm to be supported by a spring. I would love to be able to set multiple springs to that. So 
I think maybe something a bit like this. And then we're gonna preload that one already uh, compressed, 20%. It's not quite high enough, 30%. Not quite high enough. Uh, if we go over about 40% on a single spring, it starts to have issues. And that did not go high enough. Uh, we are not sensitive enough, I, I, I guess. Let's try this. I mean, sorry, too sensitive. Okay, and that's not enough. Um, Let's see, how far can the spring go? That spring cannot reach there. Can't stay sprung up there. What does that do? We're gonna pre-compress each of these just 10%. And note that they're different lengths, so that, that means very different things. And we need to be a little bit more stiff. Uh, let's see, let's do 20 and 20. Oh, we are so, so close. Come on, climb on up. You can do it, little car. Yes, as it, as it relieves some weight, it gets to go a little bit further. This car is probably gonna have the exact same issue. Hopefully it stops at about the same spot. Yep, okay, it's going, it's going. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And the other car does not start soon enough. Oh, really? Okay. That's not great. Okay, so we're going to scrap this. And put these in here, pre-tensioned to 20%. And then we're going to slap you in there at just neutral. So sitting high enough stays high enough that blue car makes it off. Oh, that, that's too high. So let's do you down to 10% compressed. That should make that a little bit easier to compress as the time comes. Oh, you know what? I've had this problem before. I know how to fix this. Okay, so story time while we wait for this to fail. Uh, I, I did a, a bridge a while back, and the issue was it flipped itself inside out, right? We're going to leave that one neutral. We're going to leave those neutral. Uh, once enough weight was pressed on it, what it did is it, it folded inside out. Oh, not compressed. Sorry, stretched. It might make it up that. So the idea here is, and we, we definitely have to get rid of this guy. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. And we've got to make that off center. Okay, that'll work. So once it got enough weight on it, it flipped basic. Yeah, just like that. It flipped inside out and drop down. So that needs to be longer and it does still need to be off at an angle. So let's see what caused our failure this time. And we've got it. There we go. That ought to work. Seeing a good bit of stress, but not as much as last time. Come on. Uh, let's uh, bump up the speed a little bit. Gonna make it up. Oh, you're gonna make it up. It's gonna just take forever though. So, you're not going to make it up that last little bit. That's okay. Um, can we bring that up just a touch? We can. Okay, you made it up no problem. We've got to make it buckle. When it buckles... Oh, we're not, we're not far enough off center. Come on, there we go. When it buckles... It'll drop down and stay down. Come on, buckle. Yes. 
Okay, so now it is just a strength thing. We can do that. I was not expecting this one to go so well. And I know it's still a little bit early to be saying that, especially considering the budget. I have no idea how auto Dave did. Okay, so if that didn't break, then maybe it would have worked. And buckle. Okay, broke again. I hate to keep replacing these with expensive bits, but you know, there's not a whole bunch of option here. Uh, after after I've got a working solution, I'll go back and optimize for uh, yeah, of course. I'll, opti I'll optimize for price. That's just the way that I normally do things. Um, it doesn't really matter how expensive it is on the first time, as long as the rest of them work. Oh, come on. Okay, uh, we're going to have to bring you up just a touch. And yes, that is going to affect some of the other stuff that we do. It still makes it up okay. As long as you buckle, we're good. You did not buckle. Let's uh, drag you over just a little bit more. Just barely made it up with no issues. Come on, buckle. Dang it, uh, too strong. Okay, moving up just a little bit should increase the chance of buckling. This is going to be some pixel-perfect measurements just to uh, make sure it works. It nearly buckled right there with that second blue card. Buckle. And I think if that piece had not broken, and we're just going to replace that with metal, see what happens. I mean, we're going to optimize the shape and, and the, everything else. Oh, come on. Oh, it's moving. It's still moving. Come on. You can do it, bud. And bam. The last one comes across, no problem. There we go. We have a complete solution, but with brakes. Uh, let's uh, let's fix the brakes. And there's definitely a little bit more grace that could be added into this. And I know the next one that's going to break is the one... Uh, yeah, right there. Oh, and it's got some wobble to it that's helping it push right along. And come on, you can do it. You can do it. Are you stuck? Please don't be stuck. There's some weird physics nonsense going on right there. Uh, we're just going to place that and see how that goes. I know the weight should be approximately the same, meaning the buckling should not change. Oh, come on. Maybe that flex was actually needed. You know what? There we go. Back to the exact same settings. And we need to fix over here that keeps breaking. We're still under half. We're still doing good. This is still a cheap bridge that does good things and gets things where they're supposed to go. And why are we not buckling? Okay, well, we uh, scooched it over just a touch, meaning it should buckle easier. Nope. Okay, let's uh, bring it down just a touch. It's heavier. It ought to buckle easier. Okay, let's uh, let's do stretched. I'm just gonna pull in a little bit. So the blue cars have a little bit harder time getting up. That should pull. It doesn't. Okay, why does it not? Okay, we're we're gonna do that. How about that? Buckles too easy. Inch it on just a little bit more. Blue car just barely made it. Come on, second blue car. You can do it. And buckle. Uh, too. You buckled too much. Uh, let's go back a few revisions. I think that was enough revisions that it was still a working solution. All right, you know what? There's an easy way to do this, and I do this uh, probably more often than I probably should. Uh, 
19,845 was our lowest working. And let's see where it breaks this time. I, I feel sure it's uh, this guy over here, just to the right of the uh, last metal one we put in. There we go, it broke. And yes, he is inching forward. Okay, so let's uh, consider a little bit on the cost savings front. And we're going to reduce all of that while not changing too much geometry. There we go. So the geometry on the uh, far right side with the springs and the buckling mechanism has barely changed. Okay, there we go. Uh, bring you up just a little bit more. It's a slightly different arch. Yeah, that's going to break. Well, if I had to replace it with a metal anyway, then... Why did that happen? Okay, we're gonna uh, reload the uh, lowest budget unbreaking. And we're just gonna whack in a bunch of these metal supports. And that should keep stuff from breaking. Buckle, nothing broke. Come on, inch your way off. And come on, you can do it. I wish I could nudge it. It's not moving. Why is it not moving? Is it... Actually, just the tiniest bit heavier? I don't know. We're gonna slap that in there and see if that changes anything. Oh, that's... Those are not good colors to see. You make it up there, you're gonna buckle it. And you're stuck. Okay, so we're going to compress you just the tiniest bit. Make you a little bit more rigid. I mean, there's slightly less bend. Oh, there we go. Come on, keep moving. Don't get stuck. And... Come on. Yeah, it keeps getting stuck on that one little bit. Not entirely sure why. Hmm. How do we fix that? You know what? Let's bring this down and see what happens. And buckle and come right off. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, it's that, uh, it's that bumper that keeps getting stuck. So, I wonder if I can angle that up just a tiny bit more. That That is totally messed with our buckling geometry, but I think it buckles easier with that second spring. Okay, well, we got to put that spring under just a little bit more compression. And it's at this point where I think we're probably just going to call it done. Uh, because we have a good working solution, it just happens to break. Uh, you know what? We're going to load that uh, lowest budget. Let it run one last time. Take a look at our score. And then we'll move on to the next bridge. Which, you know what? Let me know what you think uh, down in the comments. Whether you like the one bridge or the two bridge it is a massively different amount of time recording so yeah oh that might be a solution we're gonna call it here unless i get another better solution in the next few seconds and uh i think that's where we're gonna call it uh yeah let me know down in the comments whether you or over in the discord whether you like even these, you know, one bridge challenges. Are they a little bit easier to uh, digest? Well, it looks like that's going to do it for us today, guys. I wanted to say thank you for hanging around this long. If you did and you haven't already hit subscribe, please do. Uh, just so you don't miss out on any of the other cool stuff coming on down the road. If you'd like to hang out with us, please hit us up on Discord. Link is in the About section on the channel, or you can go to discord.onesnot.com, and I will see you guys in the next one.